Ah, you made it here in one piece. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. I'm the warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. I heard this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life, and I still don't get tired of this place. Go ahead, look around. There's a lot to discover around here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Try to find an animal track around here. There are times when you want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. The animals will hear you coming a mile away. Stay low when you're stalking an animal to avoid being seen. White-tailed deer are often slightly bigger than the blacktail, but they're quicker to flee if they sense danger. Careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. If an animal hears you approaching, you better believe it'll turn tail and run. Or worse.
gentle now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. The black-tailed deer are one of the easiest animals in the reserve to hunt. Still, be wary of your noise and the wind direction, as their senses are quite good. Hmm. Sounds like Richard's gonna need a help in hand. Sorry, we got this full-blown survivalist fella living out here all year round. Richard Hope. He got in a bit of trouble, it seems. I can fill you in on the details later. Just remember to take a breather before shooting anything. There. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Shots mean quicker kills, less painful. You'll find coyotes all over the reserve, so they're not the most difficult to hunt. They're pack animals, so they respond well to collars, but they can also get aggressive when alerted. So be careful. track of where the wind is blowing. Animals will pick up your scent easily if they're downwind from you. careful when hunting black bear. Not only are they unpredictable, but they also make very little sound and leave few tracks. You can sneak up on one without realizing it. Fortunately, they'll probably notice you before you them and will keep their distance. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. There's no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it, either.
Would you look at that view? Never gets old, I'm telling you. From up here, you can see a lot of great hunting spots in the area. Balmont's not only where Hope set up camp, it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific Line. Keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting. Or, why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. You can find pretty much anything you need there. Catching on quickly.
nice place, right? You won't find a soft bed in many parts around here. Don't forget to stock up before heading out. Camping out over at Balmont a couple weeks, but coming back last night, he found his camp turned on its head. Some food was taken, and apparently the place looked like it had been really messed with. I don't know if it was an animal or some tourist troublemakers, but I'm up in Chopeka all day and can't look into it. Listen, I know you probably have other plans, but you're in the right neck of the woods, and... I'd sure be grateful if you could just stop on by and have a look. Mm -hmm. 